So I was browsing through YouTube the other day and I noticed a trend. You have never watched Friends. I've never watched Friends. Wow. I feel like yeah. you were born out of that period, weren't you? That's what I think, but then a lot of my friends do watch it. I, I saw, blame it on my age. I saw recently people that watch it nowadays, it's recently on Netflix, they're all offended by it. No. Really? Because apparently it's sexist. For whatever reason, teenagers and college kids today are finding a lot of shows that were played in the 90s offensive. What? Why? Why? Because you're a woman. Yeah. So what? It's easier. Uh, Good thing they didn't show them married with children. Cancel culture has also gone so far as digging into someone's past when they're about to do a big event. Find something they've said offensive years ago and bring that to light. Now, whether you think Kevin Hart should be canceled or not is beside the point. I just use him as an example because he's the latest person that has been canceled. My question more is, are we forgetting that people change? What's also funny changes. We all leave a permanent digital footprint on internet and social media. So what's funny now may be offensive five to 10 years from now. Welcome to Psych IRL. My name is Donna. So since we're all in danger of being offensive, I decided to take a look at old YouTube and look at the things that would be considered offensive now or maybe offensive in five years from now. Yep, this is what it's come to. The first YouTuber we're gonna take a look at is Ryan Higa. Right off the bat, his name sounds offensive. Kinda sounds like this one word that we shouldn't be saying. I don't care if it means something else in a different language. It's very offensive. Let's watch his videos. This isn't funny, this is very misogynistic. I don't care about context. Tell them they are fat. Body shaming. Abusive too, how dare you! I am so mad, I'm not even gonna finish this song. Next up we have iJustine. iJustine is a tech YouTuber, she does a lot of tech reviews, and she goes to a lot of tech conventions. So this one is called Nude Beach. I'm at the beach here in wow, 480p, check out those black bars. A nude beach! <gasps> fat shaming. She's fat shaming. I just seen how could you? This man is beautiful. <laughs> this man is beautiful, I just seen. How dare you? Shane Dawson, of course. We can't do this video without Shane Dawson. He's been on YouTube for over a decade. This one is on his channel called Shane Dawson TV. It was released in 2008 called Kermit the Frog and Me. Oh man. The theme song is cultural appropriation. Just, just saying. What's going on guys? It's uh, Sunday night here and um, just hanging out. It's my day off. I decided to make a little video, but uh, I'm not gonna make it alone. I got a little friend here. Still acts yeah. the same. Oh no, no she's okay. cutting her hair. <gasps> you should call up a salon and just get some care. You pull them down and it's just a bunch of hair. I don't understand what you want. Just whoa. go Brazil and young with me. Oh, whoa. So gay and don't even like girls. Can they? What? What was that? This video is gonna be demonetized. I'm gonna blur it out. But it was there. It's real. It. You know what? <laughs> Next, Tyler Oakley. See what, Tyler? Shirtless on a beach got released while I was not with the internet, and so I'm dying. I'm physically dying, and so then I had to like gallop home just so I could. You're take physically him. dying. <laughs> He's today. physically dying. Darren, take those sunglasses. Oh my. Darren, what are you 
Tyler Oakley, oh, stop so objectifying men. Nice. God, I can't even watch the rest of this video. Jenna Marbles, one of the OG YouTubers, still very relevant today. I'm so happy that she's still killing it. Okay, sluts on Halloween is what this video is called. People are gonna have a fit with that Probably title. Not you can't use those words in, in 2029, Jenna Marbles. They are. Stop! You keep on hoeing, you hoe. Your average girl dressed up as a You keep on hoeing, you hoe. Oh no. It's just a girl that would not typically wear that on a regular night out. I mean, the Halloween formula goes like this. A regular girl turns into a slut. A slut just turns into a super slut. She wants to be fucking <laughs> girl somewhere, trying to get fucking hammered in Halloween. Nothing wrong with being a hoe. Nothing wrong with being a hoe. Jenna Marbles, 2011. I feel like she's already gotten in trouble for this. Can someone remind me if this is true? Did she get in trouble for calling herself or someone else a hoe or a slut in a joking manner and someone got mad at her for saying those words? Was that a was that a thing that happened or am I just imagining things? Because if you're not the type of girl that wants to dress up like a slut, that's your choice. No one's hating on you for being a toothbrush. The concept of sluts are- Okay, let me just break character for one second. But Jenna Marbles is so funny. I love her humor so much. And to this day, it's still very the same. I think she doesn't say the same sort of things like this anymore. And it, that kind of sucks because this is so fucking funny. Genuine question right now. Can you say this kind of stuff still? Because I found it very funny. Ads, great. Take my money, Jax Films. Take it all. I'm Yay! single and lonely. In case you can't tell. In case you can't tell. I don't want nothing but a boyfriend. Lance Bass, can't you help me? How about a ukulele solo? Yeah. Wait, what? All right, next we have epic rap battles of history. This is seriously one of my most favorite channel so this one is called adolf hitler versus darth vader i'm sorry i'm sorry let me bleep this name out because this name should never be said again i'm gonna forget about context this name should not be said because making fun of them and parodying them is normalizing them <laughs> Oh, no. No, it's still quite offensive because again you're normalizing this person it should never be normalized it should not be funny <sighs> all right smosh teleporting fat guy this is what it's called did you see that <laughs> what? fat guy yeah What does this even well, mean? Smosh your body shaming! How dare you body shame this man? You have to call him teleporting large man. Next a YouTuber's old videos we're gonna look at is Grace Helbig. 2010. Grace Can't believe that was uh nine years ago all now. I'm on the subway last night and I look okay. around and it's pretty on the subway. subway. I'm standing, but I usually stand standing. On the anyway, standing. Which is Standing is pretty offensive. Like Women should stand. So, I'm um, on the subway and I'm standing, and there's plenty of other people standing. It's pretty crowded. And I noticed that three couples in the subway car that I'm in, three of the couples are uh, the ratio of a uh, cute Asian girl and tall, nerdy white guy. <laughs> I'd be curious that there were these three couples in a car that maybe had only five couples total, four maybe. And three of them were tiny, fashionable Asian girl and nerdy, hipster, tall, lanky, white dude. It was so interesting. Please don't take offense to this. I'm always worried about offending people, too. That's something, I think yeah. it's more in me than it is in society. But I'm always worried about offending someone because I don't want to be dumb and, like, misspeak and say something. You don't want to be dumb. You know? You've never seen interracial couples before? I don't care if it's a rare occurrence. You can't find them interesting. You can't find them interesting. Uh, Philip DeFranco. He has said that a lot of his old videos were offensive, so I'm really excited for this one. Okay, big boobs and you. So if you're easily offended, please accept the video, leave the room, and go lick some vagina, you dirty little feminist rug muncher. This Ooh. is Philip DeFranco show. Everyone already offended. Bill, stop shaming women with big boobs. You can't do that. Bill. 
You're gonna like my girls, my tatas, my bodegas, <laughs> oh, my man. jugglies, or whatever crazy phrases you girls use. I personally find them imm immature, honestly, but I'm just reciprocating, which is a word. Phil's content has now changed now quite here, drastically, in my opinion. My email address. Dang. It's located right here. Don't do that. Do not send sexy pictures to my email address, which is right here underneath me. Yes. Don't do that. Right? Because what? most likely what will happen is I'll see it, and then I'll call you a slut. Over dinner, possibly a movie, depending on how much cash I have on hand. That's it for looking at old YouTube. If you haven't figured it out yet, I was joking. Please realize that I was joking. But the point of this video is that stuff we said five to ten years ago may have been okay then, but would probably be considered offensive now. And we shouldn't demonize people for stuff that they've said back then because People do change. Even your most advertiser-friendly creators have said some- Man, I don't want to say outrageous because to me they were all jokes, but you kind of get the point of what I'm saying. So can we just stop cancel culture and can we just be happy when someone gets presented with a big opportunity? Anyway, that's the end of the video. I will see you guys next time. Stay psyched.